Uganda had a successful bid to host the Rugby Africa Men's Sevens Cup slated for the 23rd and the 24th of April 2022 at the Chadondo Rugby Club. With now special branding ongoing at Chadondo Rugby Club and the committee in place, it's only the rainmaker missing to have a perfect weekend. From their qualification for, to the World Cup in 2018 in San Francisco, to them winning the African uh, trophy that year, the same year. So they have really flown the flag so high and we believe that they will continue to fly the flag. And all we need is for you to come down and support the boys as they take on this uh, initiative. Uh, remember, this is a qualification to the World Cup in Cape Town in um, September, as well as the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. So it's a big thing. And also the fact that we are hosting, it's the only tournament that is international that's being hosted this year uh, on African soil, literally, as um, in Uganda particularly. And it's a big opportunity for us to show the world what Uganda is about, especially on the continent, but also world over. Africa's biggest rugby event will also double as the World Cup Rugby Sevens 2022 qualifiers, as well as the Commonwealth Games. Uganda's mission is to finish inside the top two to accomplish both and give the home fans a sounding reason to celebrate. Uh, speaking to the preparations, uh, as a venue, they are taking this as priority. So from this weekend, after the rugby games, all activity on the ground is going to be stopped. And focus will be on maintenance to get it as ready as possible. Not that it's in a good state, but to just give it some rest, some breather, and have it perfect. Uh, aside from the ground, we are looking at having fun field full day for both days and looking at fans being as comfortable as possible all the way from access, which is why we are pushing a lot for pre-ticket sales online. But even on the day, there will still be some ticket sales as well, though this will still be used on an online platform. Uh, even movement in terms of general area, VIP, VVIP, is going to be done in a way that it's convenient for every fan. As we know, it's a full day event. So you will have access to drinks, to eats, to different things you might need on the day brought closer to you in many ways as possible. So you'll find there'll be multiple setups for foods, for drinks, aside from the, the food court that is being set up. There will be others that will be set up along the grounds. So basically we want it to be seamless, fun and entertaining. Speaking of entertainment, one of the big things is artists and uh, DJs. We are looking at setting up a platform where anyone on the ground is able to view the DJs. One of the ideas is to have multiple DJs play at any given time. So still in line with bringing you something different, something out of the ordinary. Uganda has won the Rugby Africa Men's Sevens Cup twice, 2016 in Nairobi and 2017 on home soil at Legends Rugby Club. Kenya is the defending champion coming into this tournament, having defeated Uganda in the final of the 2019 edition in South Africa.